here for Wild Wednesday. They're also, we're talking about camping with kids, what you've got to know before you go. But first, Access Carolina's Ava Bratz is down on the farm. She is visiting Split Creek Farm to learn all about goats and award-winning cheeses and all the other fun stuff they've got. Ava? Yeah, and it all happens right here in Anderson, Margaret. Santa Kaufman joins us again. We are at what she calls kind of the nucleus of the entire property. So there's a lot that happens. Of course, the tours, there are goats to, you know, have exposure with. But this is really a business in itself. It is. It is. So this is sort of our our home base. Everything sort of happens here or at least starts and stops here. So this is where our milking operations happen. This is where our cheese production happens. This is where we deliver our babies and care for our babies and do their weigh in right after they're born. Um, so everything sort of starts and stops here. This is where all of our employees check in and read the notes for the day so that they know how to go about and take care of the animals. And so it sort of sits in the center. It's kind of a cool little place. Absolutely. And taking just a little uh, secret tour before this, upwards of 50 goats being milked in the morning, milked at night. This is a very uh, efficient operation. Indeed. And 50 is our low point. So yeah. let's keep in mind that we are absolutely at our low point, and that number is going to go up to probably about 150 in a very short period of time as mm -hmm. we start to have babies. So um, they support the entire farm. So their milk goes into our cheese. We only produce what we need and we make our products and uh, that's how we do business. Well, and the people love it. We'll talk about your products in just a little bit, but you mentioned there was something a little bit different about production goats. What, what, what is that compared to show goats? Oh, well, so when you're talking about a production animal, particularly in our environment, we need goats that have a high butterfat content. Mm -hmm. So we breed for that one uh, because it gives you a higher yield on your cheese. You get more bang for your buck. Um, but also, uh, I don't even know what I was going to say there. But anyway, so so they are different. So we do monitor that type of thing. And we do what's called an extended lactation. So we breed with the goal of having our goats in milk for about two years. So they don't have to have babies every year. So we are able to milk through. So the 58 that are milking now had babies at least at last year or maybe three, four, five years ago. Wow. We let their bodies dictate what they're, how long they want to milk, and we just honor that. If mm -hmm. they start to drop in production, we say, okay, you can take a little vacation, mm. and we'll decide when you're going to have babies again. Mm. Well, I like it, giving the ladies a rest. Yes. Very good. And you guys have earned an elite status in terms of just overall production and less hormones, right? Yes, we don't use any hormones um, and antibiotics and that type of thing, so we, we honor all of that by way of our grade A dairy. But we do have two elite does on this farm, and we have had an elite buck. When that may, means basically, um, when you look at that breed of goat, that that animal produced more, in our case, more butterfat. In, in, in this case, she's actually right back in the back hospital pen there. Uh, she produce more than twice the amount required of her breed and age of butterfat. And more butterfat means more cheese. Less milk, more cheese. We love it. Oh, yeah. And let's talk about the different kinds of cheeses. I would think there is a really award-winning uh, feta that you do. Yes, our feta is what we're probably best known to, known for. So we do compete in the World Cheese Ch Championship. We've done it now uh, the last three times. It's every other year. And this past year, we became number one in the United States and number three in the world. Oh, up top. Feta. That is yeah. awesome. I would love to commentate the World Cheese Championship. I don't know if you're watching, but that would be my dream. Fantastic. Well, there are a lot of other products that we can talk about, but you mentioned the hospital. I just kind of want to touch on this really quick. You really take the time to take, take, to take care of these goats. So even if it's a hurt leg or maybe just an irritation, you really treat them all with utmost care. Absolutely. They are our family. So um, when we say the hospital pen, these are animals that... Um it just needs a little a little closer eye or a break, um, and they're close by, so we can look at them all the time. We have cameras. We watch them when we're not here, um, and, and we do the best we can. And we do sleep in this barn in the pens with them on occasion, too. Oh, my goodness. Well, fantastic. Well, I'm loving learning all about these goats, Margaret. And when we come back, we're actually going to be doing some tastings Absolutely. of fudge. You guys make fudge, too? We make fudge. We do make fudge. Oh my gosh. We're heading in to the gift shop area where there are tons of South Carolina local vendors that have their little pop-ups, but mm -hmm. also some plush goats and things that you guys make here as well. Absolutely. And Tilt is in there. And Axial Tilt will be making her grand reappearance. Can't wait. Uh, we're enjoying this tour every step of the way, Ava. We'll see you again soon.